the obligatory brew once again and the book I'm going to talk about today is the first and most comprehensive um, uh, detailing of the modern technique of the pistol as taught by Colonel Cooper. Now when um, Cooper on handguns was published uh, which I've reviewed. We, we all um, eagerly anticipated it um, and, and expected it to be some something of a training manual. And the, the colonel was reluctant to put the material into print. Um, and that remained the case. He never himself actually produced a training book. But um, sometime later, one of the uh, instructors from Gunsight um, with the Colonel's blessing, produced a very, very comprehensive guide to the, the modern technique. And it's this book, The Modern Technique of the Pistol by Gregory Boyce Morrison. Uh, and the Colonel is acknowledged at the bottom as being the editorial advisor. Now, whether or not you agree with the modern technique, uh, this book is, is the one to tell you all about it. And I'll, I'll just briefly mention the contents because they are really a, a sum, summing up of the technique itself. Um, great chapter on combat, combat mindset by uh, Jeff Cooper. Now, during the um, course that they used to do, the uh, API 250, which is the um, defensive pistol course <clears throat> at Gunsight, uh, midweek, uh, the colonel used to do a lecture on mindset and uh, it, at the time it was the best thing on mindset and it went along with his little booklet the principles of personal defense and it was one of the highlights of the course obviously safety uh, gun handling action types conditions of readiness manipulation malfunctions tactical reloading then it goes into the actual techniques the weaver stance the guard position and the presentation, which is the draw. The elements of the modern technique, which is things like the flash side picture and the compressed surprise break. Um, and then there's a thing about cartridge controversy, stopping power and major caliber versus minor and so on. Uh, how to turn, pivots, that kind of thing. And maintenance and low light shooting. It's all in there. Uh, Heavily and very clearly illustrated. So, um, Mr. Morrison um, studied the subject very, very carefully, and he has a very, um, a, a, a very um, learning orientated way of presenting the, the material he, he he's a, a student of how you teach sort of sort of thing i would say and um i i was at a barbecue in ohio with um a chap who was at the time working for uh uncle mike's uh, the product company that makes holsters and bags and stuff really good guy tom marks his name was and we were we were kind of he we both being at a, a regional training conference and we got talking and we, I think we started, we, we were both wearing the same watch and we were talking about that. And then somehow um, uh, Gregory Morrison's name was mentioned and I, I, I was saying how much I enjoyed the book and Tom Marks uh, actually knew him and um, he, he really appreciated that, uh, you know, that, that I appreciated the book I and mean, we got on really well as a result of this both sort of um, realizing what a great book it was um, later on as far as I know Mr Morrison kind of abandoned the modern technique and went into the modern isosceles uh, he also wrote a really good um, study on police uh, use of firearms which um, wasn't really published as a book it was um, a journal and uh, I've got that somewhere and that that was very very good and the thesis was that almost no matter what they do in in the police firearms training the um, 
the results on the street don't really change, you know, from the old point shooting days through all the ways they've trained. Um, I think that would change with simulation training rather than just range training. I think it's more of an aspect of that. So anyway, it's it's kind of a historical book now, Mon Technique of the Pistol. Um, I don't know if they still even teach weaver stance at uh, gun size, although probably they do. Uh, but certainly uh, the Mon Technique of the Pistol is um, a, a very welcome addition to your uh, gun bookshelf.